Hello everyone, sorry I accidentally paused the recording and well, I wanted to pause it actually accidentally stopped it but obviously the amount of time this video has lasted is way too short so what do you say if we also start the first part of chapter 3? So remember Jim Johnson told us to remember the Red Bull or to be aware of the Red Bull So after seeing it, we appear in the white room and Sally says, is this real? Am I dreaming? White room, they find you... I'm not sure what it says. I was forget, don't. So like, don't forget what you find here in the white room. Others to place this of, I'm not sure what it says, not most you, but I'm not sure what the rest says. And remember the sequence, middle, up, down, up. The only one who believes you is dead now. What should I do? Run. Huh? Run! 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 And in case anyone's wondering, that's what we have to run away from. So this one goes all the way down. Run again. This one is okay. No, it's not okay, but he's gonna catch us. There used to be a door here. Okay, then I think I missed one. The third one was up and the last one was down. But well, in my, ca in my case I had already unlocked that achievement. If anyone wants to see the detail of how to unlock that puzzle and the next one after that, Remember, Steam has a lot of guides uh, specifically for achievements. So the journalist, Claire Nettles, asks us, Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of represent representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? Let me just make sure it's recording, okay. I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? Typical journal. I have no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we are getting, we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest poll question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special new privileges because you're afraid of Bologna? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just... Well, it's a long story. Your trial's still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Oh. All right. Episode 3. The Bologna Incident. What if I were more than just a doodle?
Hello, are you okay? No reply. What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please, leave us all alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. Alright, that's Shay Pison. Hello. Are you the Platy Pumps? What's that? Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never. How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weirdly shaped head? I didn't mean to offend, I was. Huh. Go bother someone else. Alright. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since, our people are drawn with our limbs. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the oracle beyond the dead fields. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend. No, I'm sorry, don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen for over a hundred years. You know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hack who lives beyond death? Just take the ladder, ladder down. It's always a ladder down. Hello? You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Okay. And yeah, I'm not sure if these guys are being like sacrificed by being killed with the eraser. But I'm guessing this is actually the oracle. Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead, till we know better than that. What is the great hole? Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth word to you? Everything. So I guess we have been sent to another room. And here is actually the great hole. Sorry, make sure you wanna go in. And poor guy has also been corrupted by darkness. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up. Huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry, I must have dozed up. I already finished the test. And okay, why is Travis angry at us for that? I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. Sorry, I can't put away the notification from mail. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of class, okay? Sure, it won't happen again. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. Hmm. <laughs> Well, yeah, please, stop staring at us. Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests before leaving. 
And yeah, this teacher particularly you do not want to make her mad. Take break. Nobody likes a goodie to shoe Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you might actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Fuck off, faggot. I have more friends than you'll ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he... What the hell, asshole? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that to Eric. No, don't worry about it. That will just make things worse. Trust me, I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on. I... you can't. I'm... And this... that's why I cannot hate Ashley in spite of her bad decisions at some point of the game, because this is just so nice. There, looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. Huh, thanks, Ash. It may not seem like much, but Sally feels very vulnerable when people see his real face. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? I'll prick that prick, I'll kill him! Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. Then he'll probably just haunt the school and we'll be stuck with that bonehead for the next few years. Huh. <laughs> Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much even for me. So we're really just gonna let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it, who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of bands of rage, there must be a reason. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switch Bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal, and he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. <laughs> That's all we need. Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sally's on good. I heard that. And yes, Sally's actually pretty right, and that's why he's got a black eye. Because Travis's father is really violent to him. But still, I don't think that justifies taking it out on other students or on people that do nothing to you. So I'm aware that this woman has elephantiasis, that's okay, but why does that keep her from cleaning her ear? And then, does that Bologna smell funny to you guys? I thought last week was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of, bunch of kids call in sick the day after Bologna day last week too? Oh, hey, you guys, don't ruin really lunch for me. Please, it's the only good part of the day. Group huddle? I mean, me too. Count me in. Have fun, I'm going to stay here with Chuck. Ah, so they were lovebirds from high school. They're high, high school sweethearts. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this Bologna. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you dude, this, this shit is funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of local meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. Sal may be onto something, there could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab, and see if I can find any bacteria, bacteria or signs of expiration. 
However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help me help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the Bologna. Sounds like a plan. Oh, uh, hi Larry. Hey Maple. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? My mom made, be, made me peanut butter and jelly again. I'm just kind of tired of it, you know? Uh, I mean, if you're not gonna, of course you can have it, Chuck. Heck yes. <laughs> and if anyone hadn't seen him, he does have a pretty bad black eye. I thought I smelled trash. What are you flamers up to? Get bent, Travis. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's Bologna Day. Yeah, I'm really sorry for you for loving this shit. Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask about the Bologna. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why you want to know about Bologna, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no, we were just wondering where it... You kids go and sit back to church now. No more questions. Did you think we could just see the package or... No packages for you. Just bots in church. Go on. Alright. Well, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids, the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. So, I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with, to with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. There's a class in here right now. There's more in this classroom to take a look at, but we cannot right now. Find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the Bologna ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? She went to get some material for me. I recommend that you look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Oh, he wanted to be right back. Happened again. Oh, sticky duck. Okay. I don't know what it's for, but just in case. There's a class in there. And there's a ball, we have to shake the tree three times. And this is the window of the teacher's lounge. But not, we don't have to use the ball yet. And we cannot interact with the birds in the tree either, because we are missing an item. Any luck? The teachers are all in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Alright, I think we can create it. The teachers are in there. I need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe if I make a loud enough noise? Huh, what was that? I don't know, it sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything, neither do I. Maybe it was those damn birds again.
Did you get past? Yeah, good thinking with that distraction, dude. I saw her file. Awesome. Anything to help us? But I, well, I had to book it, so I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I could just take the file. No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright, you're the boss, Ali, so what should we do? Give me a minute, I'll think of something. So we have to go to the other hallway. I better not. Larry's backpack. We've been through so much over the last two years. Church more than my best friend. His family now. I don't know what I'd do without him. That's one of my paintings. I was gonna throw it out, but Larry insisted on keeping it. He said great art doesn't need to be beautiful as long as it conveys genuine emotion. And I feel the shit out of this man, I really do. Well, right? I think that's an older drawing that Ash made. She actually taught Larry a lot what he, what he knows now. She's a great teacher. We may have never become close if it weren't for, for Larry. Very cute, but nothing we can use. Todd is never short on supplies for his inventions. I don't know how he does half the thing he does. The guy's a genius. This potato light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed us, showed in class. I'm surprised it's still going. Uh, not much of a surprise that Todd's locker is half filled with books. I really admire his passionate curiosity and hunger for knowledge. Todd and his boyfriend Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy too. Just some of my textbooks. Dot suggested I take physics this year, and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is fascinating and filled with mystery. I've had this backpack since I started going to school here. It's a little worn around the edges. A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. Oh, I'm so cool that they cosplayed as Ninja Turtles. But right now we need to access other lockers. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet is locked. I need something in there to test the Bologna. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm, could use some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always sleeps for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. Alright. But it's actually Ash's uh, locker we need to reach. Maybe if we go the other way. Or maybe there are more lockers this side. But nope. And where's Sasha's locker? Here's how Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they are cool. She calls them little dudes. Yeah, they're kind of cute. Some of Ash's photos. One of the one is an older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met those two. Oh hey, that's me! I didn't know she had this in her locker. 
Ashes are too bright. Ash and Larry are such good artists. They try to teach me, but I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them, and they never make me feel bad for not being, not being good at it. Ash Polaroid camera. She's always snapping pictures with it. This could come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind that if I borrow it. Okay, so let's take it. And now we can go back to Larry and give him the camera. Here, use Sasha's camera to take a picture of the find. Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. Go again. Happy face ball. So again, same dialogue, same birds. Did you get it? Dude, the file is missing. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. <laughs> Just jerking your chair, man. I got the picture. Oh, you butt nozzle. <laughs> Score. Let's take a look at it. Name Kim Yassi, bird uh, October 12th or December 10th, 1967. And well, thing is, that besides having elephantiasis and being sensitive to it, she also likes feeding the birds in the courtyard. But the teachers are getting annoyed at her for that. So Sally knows what to do. We have the camera back now. And now we can interact with the birds. So we're gonna use it. There's not much film left in, it, in that in it, but that's no problem because we only need one picture. And here's a cute birdie. Let's center the image. I think this is more centered. And now it's time to give Kim a little present. Because I'm guessing that warning that she's very sensitive about her sickness hasn't been too useful. And that could be part of why she's not too happy at school. So before talking to her, nope, he's still here. I got something for you. What this? A photograph of Birdie? You take a picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the Bologna from? Why are you so interested in Bologna for? Oh well, uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. It's local made by Mrs. Packerton, 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meat from bringing him nice photographs. Thank you so much. So now we have something to keep Todd, but as we can see, Travis has uh, stood up and is no longer in his table. So we found a note that wasn't here before. There's a crumpled up note on the ground. Looks like someone tried to throw it out but missed the garbage. Hmm. Couldn't hurt to take a quick a quick peek. I know we don't really know each other and you probably have your opinions of me. I thought maybe if I told you how I feel things could be different. The truth is I can't stop thinking about you. I'm crazy about you. I think you're amazing but I know those feelings I have are wrong. It's not the way a boy should feel. Shame swallows me whole just writing these words. My father would kill me, but I can't live in this shadow forever. I just... 
then there's just a bunch of scribbles after that. Man. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is from Travis and it was intended for Sal. Anyone in there? No, the fuck what? Boss up. Travis? We're just... Were you just crying a second ago? Sally face, I... No, what the hell? Can you, a guy get some privacy? So, if I remember right, we have to select the most empathic choices. It's okay to have emotions, but not that empathic. Why do you hate me so much? Because you and your dumb friends are a bunch of homos. It's sick. It's not right. God will never love you. Why should I? You know we aren't all gay, right? I mean, besides for Todd, Todd is super gay. But that's part of who he is, and I think it's wonderful. He is one of the kindest people I know. How could anyone hate Todd? Ugh. Is your father pushing these beliefs on you? Just because my dad is a preacher doesn't mean he owns me. I'm my own person. I think... yeah, but... Well, you seem so unhappy, man. Are you sure your dad isn't putting too much pressure on you? I bet it's tough, tough being the son of such an intense man. I have no idea what it's like. I don't remember if it's I'm sorry, man, or do you want to tell me about it? No, thanks, Holly Face. I'd rather keep my misery to myself. Okay, then it was I'm sorry. What <laughs> is this is kind of gay thing? Get the hell out of here, you queer. Yeah, I accidentally told him I got him with his pants down. So, okay, really quickly, I'm gonna skip the dialogue. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I hate that you have to go to the start of the conversation. Because that means not being able to skip that fast. Don't feel sorry for me, Holy Face. I don't need your pity. We don't have to be enemies, you know that, right? You know that, right? I think under all of that anger, there's a good dude who's afraid to be himself. If you ever need someone to talk to, or if you need to get away from your dad for a while, you can hang out with me. Why? Why are you so being being so nice to me? I don't think you're a bad person, Travis. You know, I don't really hate you, or your friends. I didn't really think so. I guess, well, I'm sorry I've been such an asshole. You didn't deserve that. That means a lot to me. It really does. Thank you. And what I said about be being there for you if you ever decide you want friends, I mean that. Don't push your luck, Sally Face. Oh, here, I was gonna flush this down the toilet, but I guess you can have it. I found it on your desk. It's an envelope with my name on it. Huh, it's empty. Thanks. Okay, you now scram so I can have my alone time and, uh... Uh, what? Don't tell anyone about this or you're dead. Er, I mean, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I won't. Okay, so this is, besides an achievement, I think it's a nice moment. Because, of course, nothing justifies bullying, but if the boys that bully, or also the girls that bully, had someone to listen to them, well, I think that would change many things. So now let's go to the left side, to the science lab. Got more Bologna. Perfect. Kim said that it's made by Mrs. Packerton. 
Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartment. How can she make her own lunch meat? Oh, yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I've moved there. She tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. True. However, when Mrs. Packerton is home, she makes quite a, quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this outside business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this thing here is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it would be the best not to let Packerton know that we are looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Packerton's classroom while the teachers, the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this Bologna. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Larry, I'll need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. So, okay. Damn, she keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude, how the hell are we gonna get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. So as we can see over the blackboard, there's the P full number, well, full is a very strong word for an infinite number, but you know what I mean, and the first four digits are highlighted. So it's 3, 1, 4, 3. Got it open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of matte papers and... Hold on. There's a hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? I'm not sure. Little jars filled with what looks like spices, maybe for cooking? It's a Bible. The book is really old, but there isn't anything special about it. Why does she have a bird skull in here that's kind of creepy? Keep looking before. Crystals? They are actually kind of cool. I wonder what Packerton uses this for. A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they are written in another language. I can't make sense of any of it. A strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box. This could be important. There's another one of these metal boxes like the... Shit. Is it happening again? Yeah, I... What's he saying? Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But... Never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemi chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chuck for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, and I'm also curious about that hot dog incident. Yeah, Ash is right. Oh. Sorry, my smear reactivated. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help after that, too. So later that day... Friends gather in the building. But we are gonna leave that part of the exploration for next week because we have finished first half of chapter 3 of Sally Face in English.
thank you all for joining guys sorry for all the technical trouble ending chapter 2 and passing to chapter 3 and I hope you enjoyed this I know it wasn't planned for chapter 3 to begin today but I just couldn't finish the streaming in the 16 minutes so I hope you had a cool time and Mrs. Midnight will be seeing you next time